Hey everybody, it's Jeff. Welcome to another episode of Stay Rad Wine Blog TV. Look who's here. Hey, it's Dave the Vegetarian. Dave, do you own a baritone saxophone? Unfortunately, Marcello, um, no. Dave. I wish. If I had <laughs> six extra grand, I'd probably get one. Do you own a, a alto saxophone? Alto saxophone I do have. Is it here? It's in the mountains. So he's going to uh, do some air sax for you real quick. <laughs> oh, on my dog. Oh, dang. Oh, no. I'll do it later. Okay, I'll sure. I'll come up and visit Martello and do it. Hey, so uh, we're going to do a speed round because there is food a-cooking right now. Food a-cooking. Food a-cooking. So uh, I showed up at Dave's house, and I brought a wine that I wanted him to try, and he goes down into his dusty old cellar. Very and he pulls out this thing right here. He pulls out this uh, Big Basin Vineyards 2009 Coast View Vineyard Pinot Noir from Monterey County. Uh, these are, I was reading on the back, just in the mountaintops, way above uh, Monterey. Oh, right? I believe it. Let's dive into it. Let's do it. Here you go, Please, bro. Thank you. How's the kid? Kid rules, dude. You should get one. It's on the way. It's on the way. So, color-wise, I mean, they're not seeing it. And Dave, you're seeing what I usually see during my episodes, right? Like, are they seeing what we're seeing right now? Uh, I think it's a little lighter than what they're seeing. Yeah, I mean, typical Pinot Noir. You can see right through it. I can see my yeah. ring shining uh, right through this thing. Um, it's a, a light, um, kind of matte burgundy. Like, it's not very shiny. Like, no. it's almost kind of... Uh, just a nice, like, matte color to it. Boom. Oh. Those of you into painting, nurseries. <laughs> On the nose, wow. It's delicious. It's this is like, something um, I want to drink. It's very, like, a leathery, licorice-y red fruit. <laughs> the sad thing is there's uh, a bunch of apple trees next yeah. door and they just drop apples like crazy and I can't keep up with them so it kind of smells like rotten You're apples saying it out here. smells like rotten apples so in the So I'm looking at a rotten apple down here okay. and it's making me think of that but it's but it's it's pleasant here. It's not pleasant over there. Don't look over there, please. No, this is really good like um Dang, fruit delicious. of like strawberries, like candied strawberries. You know what I will say? This yeah. smells great. It smells a little hot. Yeah. Like, like I can feel the alcohol on this one. 14.4%, which is, you know, it's in the upper echelons of Pio Noir's. Yeah, for sure. Definitely a hotter one. 2009 was, it was a warm summer. <laughs> Most summers are warm. All right, Those let's are... uh, take a sip here. Boom. Wow. That is so good. It's, that is so good. It's, um, if candy had integrity. Oh my god. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, if, if candy, um, were wow. just really hip and oh. underground, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. it's really just these really bright red fruits, oh my god. um, but there's this earthiness to it, um, there's this vibrancy to it, it's very well balanced. This is an, um, I, this? Sw I swear I've never heard Dave talk about Pinot Noirs before. And, no, and they're not even my jam them. at all. This sucker embarrasses a lot of the Pinots I've had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is huge, this is powerful, it's strong, it reminds me of myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a really That's a tasty. Really, really nice. um, Your and dad would love this. You think Harv would go for this? I think he would. It's it's possible. Harv, I mean Marcello, I'm gonna buy you a bottle. It, it might be a little bit too old for him, but mm. um, no, this is wow. And so honestly, with Pinot Noirs in general, I know a lot of folks are are going to Oregon or they're going uh, Sonoma or they're going Carneros. Um, Monterey County, uh, and I don't think this is in the Santa Lucia Highlands. It's it's above above the Highlands. Is that possible? <laughs> oh, I that. mean, honestly, um, but it's it's in that area, and I, I really think Monterey County is is bringing some awesome uh, fruit with some real uh, integrité. I mean, mm -hmm. this is good stuff. Oh, I'm into it. Are you gonna kill that? Or are you gonna dump it out? I'm gonna dump mine. Out yeah, you dump way. yours. I'm gonna go over here and dump mine in my mouth. Ah, 
not on my blueberry bush. All right, so wow. uh, the next wine right here, totally different. This is XY Zin. I got this as a uh, sample from uh, Folsom and Associates. Um, this is from Sonoma County. It's a $16 Infidel. It's 2011. California on the label, uh, I believe 70% of their fruit is coming from Sonoma County. So a place that is very well known um, for their really nice, like, old vine Zinfandels. Um, 16 bucks. 91% Zinfandel, and the rest is Petit Syrah, Tanat, and... Uh, Syrah. So, I mean, this is lighter than the peen. Wow. Look at that. Whoa. And I think you can even see that. You no, know, this is definitely. Holy heck. You see that? I mean, this is ridiculously yeah, light. Yeah, I've never seen a Zinfandel that light. It's, 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 um, it's odd that you would see one that light. And especially when you've got Petite Syrah blended uh, in, you'd yeah. think it would be a lot more dense, a lot more dark as far as the color. Now, on the nose. You know, it's not as pretty, it's not as um, intense as uh, this guy right here. Um, it's a little bit tight, Dave. I mean... Yeah, it's interesting. Like, sorry, I totally blocked No, that's just okay. I'm not looking at the label. Today. But yeah, no, it's not... Um, it doesn't jump out of the glass like Zinfandels often do. You know um, what's interesting, though? Like, what I am getting is... I, I am getting some chalkiness on the nose. Yeah. Like, I'm sensing tannins... Uh, olfactorarily. <laughs> nice. And I am getting like uh, like a cherry. But I mean, definitely uh, on the nose, quite a bit more reserved uh, mm -hmm. than the Pinot Noir. So let's check the palette here. I'm definitely okay with that. Yeah, yeah. Um, in a world where uh, Zinfandels in the teens in your local grocery store with wacky names, mm -hmm. like X, Y, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, the wacky name you. Zinfandel that's uh, in the teens. In a world where most of them suck, this is nice. And I mean, reserved on the nose was kind of a bad thing. You weren't sensing a whole lot, mm -hmm. right? Reserved on the palate for a Zinfandel, mm -hmm. um, is something that I long for and something that I desire. Now, is it bringing the complexity of like those $30 Zinfandels that are awesome and, and really a value play in California? Yeah. Not necessarily, but um, I am I getting... I was just going to say, I like it because it's not like burnt and yeah. over like too heavy. Like yeah, a lot of them. This one's uh, doesn't seem so dry and it's, leathery. It's and light like and refreshing. It's not goopy, which you get with a lot of those like over extracted, yeah. Oh, yeah. like in the teens type of thing. Yeah, it... subtle, fine, chalky tannins. Mm -hmm. um, nice acid. Um, kind of thin on the finish. But that's okay mm -hmm. with this wine. Um, it's bringing some really nice fruit up front. There's some, like, spicy, peppery notes as it does finish. Yeah, I'm thinking, like, there's something smoky. And I'm okay with smoky. More like a Malbec, things like that. This is, yeah, uh, yeah. It's got a little um, something of interest yeah. on the finish. You know, and normally when I look at the back of a label and it says, hey, it goes well with pizza... Um, I'm, I'm kind of like, well, most I was gonna red say, wines do. I haven't do. had a wine that didn't go well with pizza. Yeah, but then again, I mean, I'd love to have this with some pizza. Um, I, this is definitely uh, something that you could break open on a, on a weekday and, and feel very happy with just whatever mm -hmm. dinner you're having. This is also a wine that I think would be quite a crowd pleaser at a get-together, like with, where you got a bunch of folks together and you don't want to spend a whole lot of dough on it. Um, just a, a really nice quality yeah, wine. It's nice. I mean, am I dying to pay sixteen bucks for it? No, but hey, it's up there. It's fine. Word. I do it. And and wow, I mean, 
this this peen right here really does kind of steal the show, right? Yeah. And and I feel bad because this is honestly, it's a great wine, and we're not saying anything bad about it at all. We're saying nothing but good things. But dang, this thing, yeah, you can't have any more of that. This, I was thinking I'd take it. <laughs> uh, so gosh, ninety. This is really nice. One plus. I want this most days. I just can't afford it. 88. How much was I'm it? I'm busy. I, you shouldn't say it was from your personal seller. You know what? I can't even remember how much it was, but it was more than that. It was definitely more than $16. So, I mean, this is something that you could probably find a, a bit easier. So, if it's around and you want to check it out, uh, please do. But, but man, quality stuff. Dude. Yeah, I'm in above them. Thanks to Dave for having me over. Thanks for coming over. Thanks good for the wine. You. Yeah, Mac. And for the killer good, one. Big Basin, I've never seen it anywhere but the tasting room. If you see it, snatch Go it. Go down to Santa Cruz. So that's the tasting room that's off this of... This one's um, in Saratoga. Okay. Yeah, Highway 9. Highway 9, Saratoga. Get into it. Big Basin Winery. XYZ, your local grocery store. Dave, the vegetarian who raises chickens. <laughs> Everybody, stay rad.